great to welcome to the second part of the video for week, week three English. My name now is Gabrielle. Now I will put for you the uh, video of the story. Please listen to it very carefully. By Monica Brown. Illustrated by John Para. My name is Gabriella Mistral. It is the name I chose myself because I like the sound of it. I love words and sounds and stories. When I was a little girl, I lived with my mother, Anna Melina, my sister, in a small house in the beautiful Elke Valley in Chile. From my bedroom window, I could see the Andes Mountains. When I couldn't sleep, I would look at the mountains and wonder what could be beyond them. Zebras with polka dots, rainbow-colored flowers, angels reading books. I loved words. I liked the sound they made rolling off my tongue, and I liked the way they could express how I felt. When I saw a butterfly fluttering, I noticed the way the words fluttering butterfly sounded together, like a poem. I taught myself to read so that I could read other people's words and stories. I read stories about princes and princesses, about monsters, and about birds and flowers. I also like to write poems, sing songs, and tell stories using the words that I knew. I told stories about happy times and sad times, about mothers and babies and little children. I like to play school with the children of my village. I pretended to be the teacher and my friends Sofia, Anna, and Pedro were my pupils. Pedro would always say that I was mean because I made him write his ABCs until he knew all the letters of the alphabet. But I told him that the alphabet is important. How else would he create words and tell his stories without it? In our pretend class, we sang songs like, The baby chicks are saying, Peep, peep, peep. It means they're cold and hungry. It means they need some sleep. That was Sophia's favorite song. During recess, we had fun running and chasing and laughing and playing. When I grew up, I became a real teacher and writer. I taught the children of Chile, and many of the students became teachers themselves. I still wrote poems, happy poems, sad poems, stories of mothers and children. But I also wrote poems about animals, about parrots and peacocks and even rats. I also traveled to faraway places. I never saw zebras with polka dots or rainbow-colored flowers, but I met wonderful children and their teachers. I traveled to Europe, to France, and Italy. I traveled to Mexico. I traveled to the United States. Everywhere I went, I wrote and taught and met teachers. I saw how all over the world, people wanted their children to learn. My stories travel the world with me. People like to read my happy stories, my sad stories, my stories of women and children, my stories of parrots and peacocks, of old lions, of the fisher folk who slept in the sand and dreamt of the sea. And because people from all over the world love my stories so, I was given a very special prize, the Nobel Prize for Literature. When I accepted the grand award, I thought of the beautiful mountains outside of my window in Chile, of my mother and sister, of the children of my village, and of all the stories that still need to be told. The end. Thanks for listening. Alright my dears, this was the end of my name is Gabriella. Now I'm going to show you another video about the phonics and long, and long E words that has a um, Y at the end. Listen carefully. Why can say I, why can say E, why can say I, why can say E if it's a short word, a short word, say I, my, dry, 
Try, shy. Why can say I? Why can say e? Why can say I? Why can say e? If it's a long word, a long word, say e. Snowy, heavy, sleepy, pretty. Why can say I? Why can say e? Why can say I? Why can say e? Say I, I, I. Why, by, fly, cry. Say e, e, e. Happy, tricky, safety, cherry. Why can't say I? Why can't say E? All right, grade two. This was the end of part two. Now you know what we have covered during this week. If you need any help, please don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, Miss Angie, you have got all my number. You can call me or text me anytime. Thank you so much and take care of yourself. Great too. Thanks.